So I had the plan to talk about something entirely different today, but Kenya just had to go and mess that shit up. I'm going to try and make this video as decent as possible because I really wanted to go out to the masses. So just when we thought that this shit was about to be over, some of the niggas just had to go and take it to the, to the next level. Just yesterday there was a video that was going around as in these guys did not just stop at stripping this woman naked they went ahead to actually molest her as in I say they did molest her they assaulted her they molested her and it is just doggone unacceptable whatever is going on is just unacceptable there is no room there is no margin of error on this one it just has to stop happening there are so many other ways that people can convey their detest or their dislike to something than resorting to such cowardice methods yes what is happening is a serious coward mentality there is no one nigger who is standing up and telling this woman this no they are ganging up this man may think that they are bold that they are courageous that they are that they are the in thing but they are nothing but cowards the mere fact that no one can stand up on their own two feet and say something about whatever they do not like that they really have to wait to bunch up into a gang of idiots so they can go and carry out this stupidity just makes them nothing but fools I had another word for that but I do not want to say that word because I'm trying to keep this decent women and the men out there who are like me men who understand and know that this should not be happening yes we can protest we can go on social media we can rant about it like I could do this video for about 20 30 minutes I have a lot to say about this and all of it is very negative but talking can only go so far I'm gonna quote Gandhi on this one be the change you wanna see in the world so if you're in that situation and you're seeing something that you do not want to be happening and you're still standing by you're just the same as the rest you're just like the person who is actually doing it stand up say something yes I know you may get messed up for this but be that person who is willing to put himself on the line to help another human being this is this is the kind of people we need in this world this is the kind of people we need in this country people who are willing to put themselves on the line for other people selfless individuals that's the word I was looking for you're not just gonna go and rant and talk about it and say you don't like it do something about it yes you may not be where this shit is going on but if you are and you stand by as this shit goes down you're just like the rest there's no difference between you and that dumbass nigger who was literally holding her legs open there is no difference at all. I'm not saying that we should stop uh, sensitizing the masses about what's going on because it's good to let people know. But since they have taken it to the next level of going ahead to molest a woman and not just disrespect her by taking off her clothes, they have pushed it further to what happened the other day. We activists of this should also push it further. We should be able to do something about it not just sit idly by and shake our heads and say this is wrong we know it's wrong even those niggas who are doing it know it's wrong but because of that gang stupid mentality they're still doing it the other day the deputy president called for these guys to be arrested so are you telling me that when all this shit was going on because that video is about three four minutes long there were no cops in that vicinity there were no APs, there were no traffic cops, there were no uh, undercover policemen, plain cloth policemen. There was not even one of you niggas in that area. I don't know about you, but I find this hard to believe. Because it is the government's responsibility to take care of each and every individual. And I don't feel women are being taken care of right now. Women are walking around in a constant state of panic and fear, hoping that today is not their day. To everyone who's going to watch this video, 
and to everyone who's going to hear about this video, I want to challenge you to take it upon yourself to take care of your neighbor. Even God himself told us to do this shit. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you wouldn't want that to happen to you, why watch it happen to someone else? Be ready to stand up for somebody, not just your family. Be ready to stand up to a total stranger. Just because you understand that you're both human beings and you both have the same rights. There is no second class citizen anymore. That shit died in the slave days. Everybody is equal. This is not Animal Farm. Smart ones get that reference. For the dumb ones, I'm sorry. This stuff is really messing me up, like on a personal level. There are so many other things we would rather do as a country. There are so many other things we would rather focus on as a people. Like for instance, the guys who are just going out there and killing our fellow Kenyans for sport. I think that needs more of our attention than what a woman is wearing. I think that we should focus on taking care of ourselves and taking care of our fellow Kenyans rather than finding different ways to disrespect and indignify them in public. This video is a basic call to action. People stand up, people do something. Don't sit idly by and watch our society turn into a barbaric and myopic state of living. Bottom line of this video, be the change that you want to see in this world.